Good evening, guys. Today I'm recording this video tutorial with step-by-step uh, -step explanations for GCON 223 students from Aturo University. Today I'm going to configure a switch management address. Here's this scenario. Uh, we have I have opened two files. One is PDF, a PDF, uh, this one. And uh, the second one is uh, a packet tracer. So uh, following following uh, this instruction, we have to configure a Cisco switch so uh, to make telnet session. Okay. Uh, here is the addressing table. As you see, switch one right here. Uh, let me change the label as uh, S1. And uh, this is PC. PC, let's, uh, let's change again also uh, the label. Later, I'll assign the name. Okay. So, as you see, switch one must have now, uh, IP address assigned on uh, VLAN interface, VLAN one interface. So uh, by default, as you know from previous sessions, all switch ports are by default included in VLAN one. And in VLAN one at the same time is uh, management VLAN by default. Okay, and also VLAN one is native VLAN. All right, now, what is Telnet? So, Telnet session, we need to access the network device remotely. And also, we have another protocol session we call SSH, Secure Share. So, what's the difference between these two protocols, between these two sessions? Telnet is uh, telnet is unsecured session so and the ssh is secured session all right now all information flowing between computer and uh, uh, the switch is flowing in plain text okay Passwords and other sensitive information can be easily um, viewed and captured by by hacker, right? So, okay, let's uh, get started. Okay, first of all, we are using here straight through cable, straight through cable connected to port fast Ethernet zero slash six. And, and we have to establish Telnet session. Uh, let's open command line interface and let's follow the instruction. What's the requirement here? Of course, first of all, by default, the name is switch, right? Enable. Um, we are now in privileged mode. From privileged mode, we have to go to global configuration mode, type in config, conf, uh, config T, okay? And from here, let's assign the name, host name, and it is S1, okay? Now, <clears throat> what we need here, so, uh, what's the requirement? A requirement. Uh, as you see in this in this PDF uh, file, we have to assign a password to the privileged to access to the privileged mode. And here's the command: enable secret class. So enable secret class. We are sending password class to the to access to the privileged mode. Okay. And we have done. Okay. Now, what else? 
prevent unwanted DNS lookups, okay? So let's type no IP domain look, lookup. Yes, it's working. Okay, now um, we have to assign MOTD, which stands for message of the day. Okay, so we are warning intruders uh, that um, uh, unauthorized uh, access is uh, prohibited. Typing banner M M O T D pound sign at the end pound sign. Okay, we assigned M O T D and um, let's go back. So now next step. We have to assign password. Uh, I mean, we have to assign IP address to the VLAN interface. How? From global configuration mode, we have to go on the VLAN interface, VLAN 1 interface, interface VLAN 1, and typing IP address. IP address 192.168. That one, that two, 255, that 255, that 255, that zero. And we have to tie it immediately, no shutdown, because by default, all uh, interfaces, VLAN interfaces are administratively down. To bring them up, we have to type no shutdown. Okay. And, and as you see, we got message VLAN one. Uh, is changed state to up. Uh, this means that uh, previously it was uh, administratively shut down. Now, um, exits. Now, to protect console line, console line, we have to go on the console line, typing line console zero. And it's the same password or pass Cisco and immediately log in. Okay, so we did it. We assigned the password to the console line. And as you see, to show run, it shows us that indeed we assigned password to the console. Okay, password Cisco. What else we need to establish telnet session, a remote session, we have to assign password the line VTY. VTY stands for virtual teletype. So to make a virtual session, this line VTY must be uh, must be protected with password. Okay. So, without a signed password, we cannot establish a remote session. Okay, so that's why first we have to go on the VTY line and um, total lines we have from 0 to 15. So, we have total line 16 sessions we can have, we can have uh, simultaneously. So once we are uh, inside VTY, um, VTY lines, now we have to assign password. Password, it's the same password also, Cisco. Cisco and a login. And that's it. We assign password to the VTY line. Um, now, what we need, what else we need? Let's check the requirement. Uh, as we see here, as we check addressing table is the requirement. Uh, PC, this PC must have IP address, of course. And let's assign IP address 192, 
and I two one sixty eight that one that ten okay and subnet mask is uh, three octets to fifty fives okay we assigned and now we can establish telnet session okay we know that IP address of the management VLAN is 192.168.1.2, right? Okay, so let's open uh, command prompt. And in command prompt, we are typing telnet and IP address, the VLAN 1. 192.168.1.2. That one, that two. Okay. So, and uh, look here, we got message open. Unauthorized access is strictly pro prohibited. This is MOTD. Do you remember we configured MOTD? Okay. And now password. So, right now it's asking us. Uh, this is a telnet session, so we have to type here Cisco, what we assign to the VTY, right? Okay, and Cisco here. Okay, now we are in uh, users mode, and here we have to type plus. Okay, and we are in. So we have configured, we configured um, the switch properly and um, that's it we have telnet session we can access remotely uh, from this pc and uh, we can manage remotely our switch this was the requirement in this task and today we have done with this video